hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be making fish tea stick around you know. You know. this is the fish head this is the head of the fish and i'm also gonna use a slice of king fish So my, my fish head is already clean and I'm just going to rinse it off with a little vinegar so just to take away some of the raw fat. So I'm trying to just make sure no bone is there. But I'll show you what I do to make sure this First, what do you want? What are you doing? Mom? I am making fish. I'm cleaning up the fish. What? Fish, I'm cooking. Fish. Let's cook it. So I'm just trying to use the flesh of the fish. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some garlic to be cooking while the fish head is cooking also. One for flavor and to minimize the raw scent all through the house. So it is ready to be strained now. So I'm going to strain this and then I'm going to mash this pumpkin just to give it a little bit of color. So I'm going to set this pumpkin aside right here. And I'm going to turn the stove off. and then I'm going to strain it. So I'm going to set my bowl here. This is what I'm going to strain it in. Because we don't want no bone to be in it so I make sure strain it just to get rid of those bones mm. 
So I am going to be pouring the fish tea in the pot now. The part that I've deboned, the fish that I've deboned, I leave it in the pot. So I take, there's no bone in this, so I let it remain. What I'm doing now, I am adding more garlic to the pot, so I'm just gonna wait until it start to boil again. I had the, I'm gonna wait until it start to boil, and then I had the food in the pot. I remember you don't need a lot of food in the pot because we're making fish tea. So I'm going to crush the pumpkin. So the pumpkin is crushed so I'm going to leave the pot to boil and then we add the food and I'll come back to add the food. So the pot is boiling and you notice the pumpkin give it a little bit of color so I'm going to add the food. So this is the pepper. So this is turnip. So I'm gonna add the turnip. So I'm just showing you what I include in my pot. And these are corns. Carrot. And some more pumpkins, just for us to have something to eat. So remember this, you don't need a lot of food in it. You just need something to fill you a bit. And I also include chocho. I think you guys know, know it as chayota. And a few slices of green banana. And yam. If it's a little bit discolored, it's because of... Um, Sit it down for quite a while in the water. So yams. So this is what we call cocoa. I don't know if you know it as cocoa, but I'll find the correct name that you know it as and include it. And that's it. So I'm just gonna add everything to the pot now. And, uh, and I also cut up purple onion for flavor. And my garlic, my green, green onion. And I'm going to add some okra to it also. And I'm going to put some spinners. I 
because remember we don't want to overcrowd the pot at all we want mainly the tea so some i think they put um all-purpose seasoning in the pot too but i'm not going to add no all-purpose seasoning i'm just using the natural seasoning the scallion the thyme the garlic and the onion that should be enough I'm gonna cover the pot now. I'm gonna leave it to boil. So now I'm gonna be straining the noodles. So I finished sieving the noodle. So now I'm gonna add it to the pot. So before I add it to the pot, I'm gonna take out the onions. I remember it's just for flavor. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it in there. You can keep it in it in um you can um keep it there if you want to so you can leave the onions in the pot if you want to And I don't think I'm going to get them all out. So now I'm going to be adding the noodles, the powder. And also I kind of changed my mind. I think I'm going to leave a little of the noodle. I'm going to add a little of the noodle. I leave a little bit of the noodle. So I'm gonna add the noodle to the pot because my husband he likes the noodles in the in the soup or tea. But I don't want too much noodle, so I just had just a bit of noodles to the soup. To the tea. I keep on interchanging soup, tea. You can call it what you please. And also, I did add about three to four grains of pimento. Alright, so I'm going to leave it there to simmer and then we come back. So this is it. Taste it. it tastes good so I'm gonna dish out some in the bowl here so you can see what it looks like Alright, so I am going to turn the stove off. So I did put it on low E for about 10 minutes before I decided to turn it off. So I started with medium heat right through until everything was cooked and I leave it for, to simmer for 10 minutes on low heat. And 
This is it. Not too thick, not too watery. So, this is it. This is my fish tea. Guys, thank you again for watching my video. See you in my next video. Bye. Special.